What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Spill Dog. You know, uh, don't kind of be in fight for match room. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he do. Uh, maybe Eddie Hearns need to try to uh, put Boots and Connor Ben in the ring together. Uh, you know, I, I like Brian Norman and his father, but I mean, uh, I thought about it before they even got off into this once he got the belt. I was thinking maybe Tiafimo Lopez, if Devin was going to move up Devin. It's good fights out there for him uh, besides this fight with Boots. Uh, I don't think they really want this fight. I really don't. Uh, now, I think what Pops, now I think they willing to sell the belt, basically. If you come with enough money, that's really like they're trying to do. But for me, you know, uh, it, I just wish everybody stopped capping and, and let's get on to something that's realistic. You know, uh, I don't think this fight going to happen. Um, you know, Eddie Hearns, he tight with that money. He been like that, so he ain't going to go but so far. I think whatever his limit is, he probably done reached it already. And even when they first started talking about the fight, I was glad that a real fighter was uh, calling Boots out and willing to fight, but he ain't really willing to fight. They just talking, you know, uh, and I, I get it, you know, uh, it's, it's definitely got a lot of noise around his name, uh, a lot more exposure, but once again, from where I'm sitting at, you know, I don't know how much money they offered him, a million dollars or something like that, that's good money, you know what I'm saying, uh, especially for where he's at right now in the sport, he ain't, he ain't really made it over that, that 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 big hurdle yet, you know, but he on his way, Brian Norman. And if you go in there and lose the boots, it could mess up what he's doing right now, you know. And here's what I here's why I say I don't think they really want to fight. One, they done sparred with him, so they already know how big he is. Boots is a big is a big dude for that division. He's tall, he got seventy four inch reach. He fast, he punch hard with both hands. He not a statue, so he not just going to be standing there in front of him like that. You know, he got good foot movement and all that. That's a lot of problems, you know, for a, a, a guy 23 years old who really haven't been in there with the best of the best yet. You know, Boots have not either, but I'm just looking at his natural uh, advantages as far as height, reach, speed, you know, and then, you know, uh, <clears throat> From what I'm looking at, it just seems like he's a better all the way around boxer at this point in his career than Brian Norman is right now. Now, uh, power, physicality, there's things you can do to overcome those advantages, but, you know, you got to be able to implement it. You know, and uh, that's a lot easier said than done. You know, uh, you know uh, anybody who, you know, skills pay the bills, and if anybody who ever boxed before, like, like boxing look easy sitting on the outside of the ring watching somebody else do it. It look real simple. But when you get in that ring and you and, and you and a guy face off and conditioning everything, your mental uh your mental focus, it's a lot of stuff that 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 play out while you in that ring fighting. Uh, and you know, once again, one thing about when you're in a real fight with somebody, that's an intimate, y'all having an intimate, intimate uh, experience. And when you have a good fight, a good, you ain't going to forget that. You don't forget that. Don't forget it, you know. Uh, and that's why, you know, when people were saying Ryan and Devin, they was fighting the amateurs. All the people who said that, I knew then they ain't never boxed before. If you don't box somebody two or three, four, five, six times, I don't care when it was. Uh, you know a lot of stuff about that guy. You know, it's stuff that, whether it's basketball, boxing, I, I did all sports. It's certain moves that you're going to develop young, whether it's whatever sport it is that you're going to take with you until you stop. You know, certain little favorite things everybody do in whatever sport they in. Everybody got little tails. And, you know, uh, any, anybody that you, you know, like they've been sparred, they, they have sparred with one another uh, several times, Boots and Brian Norman. So, uh, they both, 
they, they all know what time it is. I wasn't there, but they was. They all know what time it is. And just for me, on the outside looking in, I like Brian Norman and his father. I liked him a lot, but yeah, I never felt like he got a he had a realistic chance to beat Boots. But I said it over and over in my videos, the experience he would have gained from a fight like that. And then again, you know, a, you catch a guy right with the right punch, anything can happen. You know, but I don't think I don't think they really believe that they just gonna be able to go in there and win that fight. That's why I think. All this was going on is happening, you know, because once again, if they really felt like we can beat this dude, not we're going to try to beat this dude. If they felt like we got this dude right here, I mean, this is, we got, we got him. They, then they, then they, then they take the fight, the first or the second thing, just because once I whoop him. We're going to get a rematch clause. I'm going to get the lion's share of the money next time. I'm going to be the A side. You know, so you got to take your spot. Floyd had to take his. Earl Spence had to take his. Terrence Crawford had to take his. Andre Ward had to take his. Roy Jones Jr. You have to take that top spot. It ain't nobody going to give it to you. You got to go in there and fight and get it. That's, that's how you, to get to the top spot, you got to go in there and fight for that. You got to go in there and fight for that every night. I mean, you can get a belt the easy way, but to be top dog, you got to go in there and get busy. You got to go in there and get busy, and you got to get in there and get busy with a, with some real fighters. And Boost about really is getting a 147 pound division. You know, uh, talk is cheap. Anybody can talk tough on YouTube. Anybody can say, I, we ain't scared, we ain't this, we ain't that, but you ain't got, you ain't signed that paper to get in the ring. So you can get in the ring. So, I like Brian Norman and his father. I like Boots too. You know, uh, I I don't want to fight as bad as a lot of other people. I really don't because I would like to see Brian Norman go out here and fight some some more winnable fights. I'm just being real. Some more winnable fights for him and really, really, you know, perfect his craft while he got that belt. And maybe a year or two from now, then maybe try. But I, 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 he ain't ready for boots right now. I don't think. And that's not me trying. This is I mean no disrespect saying that I like Brian Norman, but that ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Boots is a, is the real deal. And you think you think Bud and, and, and Earl and all these good fighters side are uh, maneuvering around him because he can't fight. <laughs> You, I mean, come on now. This dude got the belt and he still can't get nobody really. Everybody can talk on YouTube. I, man, you know, I, 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 and you know, that's that's something for the younger generation. You know, uh, uh, so-and-so, he called him out, he called him out. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Uh, just because they say they want to fight, that ain't how this work. If, if the people who putting up the money don't want to fight, it ain't going to happen, so they can say whatever they want out there on YouTube. That's just talk. That's just talk and a way for them to get a little notoriety, but yeah, you can't, you can't beat nobody uh, talking on YouTube. You got to get in the ring and fight to, uh, to, to show what you're about. You, you know, this is that, man, I mean, you, you can bump them gums till, you, till your teeth jump out your mouth. That ain't, that's just talk. You gotta put hands on somebody, and uh, and, and take the top spot if you want to be top dog. If you want to get that real recognition, somebody gotta go in there and be willing to go in there and do what they gotta do to get it. And if if you gonna cry and squabble about money, you don't really want that spot right now because if you're not the A side, you really don't have that type of leverage. You really all all gonna happen is you gonna talk yourself out to fight. And people will talk to themselves out of the fight that they don't really want. Once again, Brian Norman and his father did not call Boosie and, and Boots. They called them. So that's why I say I see both sides of this coin. It ain't like they call Boots out. Boots called them out, and they and, and Pop's trying to Pop's trying to take trying to maximize the opportunity. But they've got to talk to. I mean, you know this this ain't I. I you know, these guys who pay, putting up the money, they ain't going but so far. You know, and uh, they're not going to over, Eddie Hearn's not going to overpay. I don't think he will. 
I don't think he will. He might, but I doubt it. He ain't done it all this time. I don't think he gonna do it now. You know, uh, and you know, uh, I mean, like I say, back, you know, I come up along, you know, I'm in my fifties, so I came up through the seventies and and eighties, and in them days, whoever the top dog was, if you said you could beat him, we finna fight. It ain't like that no more. These dudes don't really want to fight certain fighters. Boost is the boogeyman. I don't care what nobody said out their mouth. You know, you got to get in the ring and show me. You know, and once again, if I would like to see Brian Norman, his father, just leave this fight alone. They don't really want this fight. Go go deal with the people that y'all really, uh, you know, like I say, it, 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 on y'all level. And, and, and come back to this later like Boozy said last week because this ain't going to be nothing but a bunch of talk. That's all this going to This ain't going to amount to nothing uh, unless Eddie Hearns going to come up with some more money, which I don't think he going to do. You know, I think this is not going to amount to nothing but a bunch of a bunch of cap, you know. Uh, and at the end of the day, Boozy will probably be fighting that Karen dude or whatever again. And... Brian Norman to be going on about his long head like he should have been doing from get go, but once again, I feel that y'all the one calling my son out, so he gonna try to get shit. Dad want dad trying to get filthy rich off this fight. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, but I, I, you can't fault him for trying. You know you can't fault him for trying. Then who knows? They, they, hell, they might pull this off. You know, uh, but you know. I done heard plenty of dudes uh, talking tough on YouTube and getting in the ring and get slayed. That happened a lot. And I really believe, like, before this happened, I was more so wanting to see Brian Norman fight Devin, Tia Fimo, those guys, more of his size, more at, at a level that he could, that, that's, that's where he's at right now. Boost is, I just think Boost is a little bit, is a lot more advanced in, 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 in a lot of ways. And besides that, he got a lot of just God-given uh, 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 dimensions of his body, like arm length, height. You know, uh, you know, he just got too many natural advantages over him before they even get in the ring. Now we ain't even talking about the skill part. We just talking about height, reach, weight. He taller. You know, he he bigger, he, and you know, at come fight night, he'll probably be a little heavier, you know, uh, and his father, his, his uncles, he, he kind of like Floyd, he come from a fight boxing family, and I don't know if Brian Norman seen your box or not, but I do know Boozy come from a fighting family like Floyd Mayweather did, like Zab Judah did, guys like that gonna be, they gonna be a lot sharper with their fundamentals and stuff like that, because they was taught right from the very beginning. So, you know, uh, I know Boo's the truth. Now, I don't, I, I, I can't say he the baddest thing in boxing, but I know he the baddest thing in the welterweight division, and that's why I don't nobody want to get in the ring with him. And Brian Norman and them, I throw them in there too. They don't really want, once again, they had three offers. They don't want this, they, they don't really want this fight. But once again, if you throw ridiculous money out there, anybody will fight anybody for too much money. I mean that I mean that don't make you that that's don't make you brave right there. <laughs> you know, uh that's when you trying to see if they gonna be gullible or not, you know, and and, and, and fall for the uh for the okie doke. I hope they come up. And, you know, I ain't hating on them, but I just wish they'd stop popping it like, like they, you know, like they really trying to make this fight. I, I think, I think they trying to come up. I think they more trying to come up to fight to me, you know, cause the fight there that had to be had. And if you, and if you in your heart know you can beat this dude, once again, I ain't gonna say it no more. Then you take that fight and go in there and, 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 and snatch the throne. But you got, but you got a no, no. You got to know to do that, and I, they, they 100% ain't sure. I mean, that's obvious at this point right now. Once again, they turned down $1.5 million. No, they ain't sure. They, they, they ain't real sure about this. And Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, but just 
stop the cap. That's all I'm saying, you know, because you, you, you have developed a fan base. Don't ruin it playing with this too much. You know, because it's going it's, it's gonna to go from looking like, it's going to go, it's going to go from being admired to, to the point where it's just noise. And it's going to make, you know, it's going to start making them look like Fugazi. So if y'all ain't going to fight, then just go and move on. Ain't no sense let's keep talking about this fight. It ain't for to happen. I done gave up on it. You know, uh, you know, uh. One, if you don't want a million and a half dollars, and I mean, you, it's not like they fought for it, like he fought for the title, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and I'm not taking nothing away from that. All I'm saying is, you, you, you got, it's, they got a lot more work to do. He really do. He, uh, Brian Norman got a lot more work to do, and so does Boots, but they both got a lot of work to do. And if they ain't going to have this fight going out there and get back to work, and. and like Boozy said the other day, and we'll catch and y'all catch up with each other later when, when everybody ready to fight for real, for real. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. Bye.